Right. Is that okay, Glenn? Yeah. Yeah, there that's you go. it. Okay, that's so it. in terms of setup, just a couple of things there you did with your right foot and your right sort of side of the body. If that foot's flared out and you're aiming a little bit off oh, to the right, okay. it's going to encourage you trying to kind of flick it and pull it left, isn't it? Because right. you have to try and redirect the golf club. Yeah. So just make sure your feet are nice and close, as you can see here now, okay? Feet are a little bit more direct to target. So it's almost a square, Yes, exactly. That's more right square. Right. If anything, maybe slightly left of target. Just open yourself up a little bit. See how my foot now is turned in this way? You tended to have the foot open the other way, and now you're kind of right. trying to cross yourself. Okay, so getting that alignment square. That sort of station we had there with the club will yeah. help you create that, okay? As you'll see on here now, okay? In terms of the swing, as you kind of went back, little bit long in the backswing yeah. and then sort of pulling yeah. up out the yeah. shot and yeah. trying to like don't go yeah. too far yeah. when the lie was good you hit good shots yeah but on a golf course you get a good lie one in five one in ten so the bad shots you turn it the ground a bit early you might thin the golf ball if it's a bit of a bare lie lots of variety of shots yeah. and when the ball's going way too far way too short it takes a lot of sort of stress because you can't judge distance now you're guessing aren't you okay yeah. so the feeling we're trying to create now if you just watch this practice which is really well, good yeah, yeah, yeah. see that one there and actually you're angling your right wrist so that's keeping that club yeah. there yeah, yeah. in a good movement as yes. we swing through then as we go to the chip shot you can see you get to the shot there so creating that station there now so you can see the club now this club on the ground is about i don't know a couple of club widths behind the golf ball Okay, so that's going to really help you, the blue grip there, okay. help you strike down on the ball and get that compression that we're talking about. If the club is flicking a bit underneath and behind, you'll tend to get a bit scoopy on it, possibly bottom out a bit early, thin it or fat it, one of the two. Okay, so keeping that angle forward, as you can see now, as you come into impact, a nice kind of shorter backswing there. Yeah. As you're coming into impact, you can see here now, there's your impact. So look at that left arm on the shaft. Nice, good yeah. sort of straight line there. Yeah. As you're swinging through in the club, yeah. now we're staying right. longer and lower right. as you chip through into that position. Look at those two positions there. Follow through. Yeah. Yeah. Well, That's well, chalk and cheese, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Now, if the yeah. ball's on a fluffy yeah. bit of lie, yeah. yeah, that left hand one will work perfectly. You could scoop underneath it, different cover shot. If that ball's on a bare lie or a bit under the rough and stuff, you're probably going to thin it, aren't you? Okay, you've got to get that club to be coming down the back of the ball, that control yeah. with that right wrist. The second your wrist starts yeah. doing yeah. this, yeah. 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 or your yeah. shoulders start pulling That's up and out the shot, yeah. your low point is moving backwards and upwards. So rather than the low point of your swing kind of being here, your low point, if we think where the ball is in this shot, your low point, as you can see now, see where your club's striking the ground on that left hand one? Yeah. Behind the ball, yeah? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if the ball's in a good light, which it was, it yeah, lovely shot. I mean, you, your club's coming in there, striking the ball, and it's quite a reasonable shot. But that club's in the ground, best part of what's the ball, two inches in depth or diameter. That's hitting the ground probably more than a ball's width behind the ball, I would say. You could probably get at least in the golf ball, if not more, between that club and that golf ball. So, you're hitting the ground there almost three inches behind the ball. Well, on a good light, yeah, easy peasy. On a bad light, no good at all. And that's why you hit some good shots in a round with the ball just sat nicely and it's an easy shot. There's no pressure. If that's over a bunker, you get a bit twitchy on it, you're in the bunker or thin across the back of the green, yeah? So getting that club to come down now, there's now your low point. The ball's been hit, yeah? yeah. After the ball, isn't it, yeah? So your low point's yes, moved left yeah, and yeah, down, yeah, yeah, yeah. so your strike's going to be more consistent. Yeah. yeah? Make sense on that one yeah, there, yeah? Absolutely. But you're yeah, focusing yeah. on that yeah. wrist position yeah, yeah. and your left on left and right wrist and the shaft and the, the arm kind of movement. Don't worry about the hips, the shoulders, the, and everything else. They will just work and function correctly, okay? As long as this happens, right. these will come into play. If you start trying to put the knees down or drop the shoulder or do other things, yeah. you'll not control the club. Yeah. Looser in the grip pressure in terms yeah. of your arms as well. Yeah. Yeah. We're trying to control yeah. what these wrists do, Glenn. You don't lock them in submission so they can't move because now nothing can move, right. okay? Body has to kind of move there. That's quite a narrow stance. Yeah, I would say fairly narrow, yeah. And just bring that foot in there. Exactly, maybe bring it back a little bit. Yeah, because if you were set up where you are there now, make a few sort of practice swings towards me. I was not in the ball, but you can make a few swings now. You can kind of swing your arms and wrist in that position there. Now, that's great. Now then, stay in that direction. If I move now, say, 20 degrees to your left here, now make the same swing towards me, but try and get the ball in theory to come towards me. What have you got to try and do? You have to move your... Your club face a long way closed or on your back foot. Well, to try and swing, say you're more on your back foot, like how the hands going to overtake now the club, you're trying to almost play a different shot, aren't you? Yeah. So if your alignment's too far over to the right there,
that's the method you've got to try and play. If I'm over here now, more to your right side, so therefore you're more open, so stay in direction there now. If I used to come this way, right. now your wrist can do this right. all day, you see? So, sorry, Dad, what that should always be... It's only left a target. Now your target, you, you, target. Yeah, always left, yeah. Your target could be the flag, left of the flag or right of the flag. <laughs> so whatever your target is. But from that position there now, if you grab the club there, if you take your toe line there, Glenn's aiming towards that tall tree there, yeah? yeah? Make a few practice swings now. I'm right of that tree. So making a few swings now with your wrist will be all quite easy to swing the golf club kind of towards me, yeah? You can hold that wrist lovely, okay? Now if I move to here, make the same movement again, you can still swing towards me because I'm now square to your target. That's fine. If I now go left of your alignment, now try and swing towards me with that same wrist position, it doesn't feel like you can do it, does it? You see? So as long as your alignment is this side to the left of your target, you can go straight and right with that wrist. This wrist can do this and sort of hold the face open to square. If your target is behind you, i.e. you're aiming shut or closed, <laughs> you can't move in that fashion, yeah? To always get yourself squared at least, if not slightly opened up. Okay? Yeah. This helps you move this wrist in that better position, yeah? Okay. That make sense now, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Good, yeah. okay. Yeah.